So we're down to the final four in this great saga to discover who is the best in the world. The penultimate step for the winner, the final awaits. The ultimate dream ticket that every nation who entered this competition has yearned for. This really is going to be the most tense of struggles. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Got the juices flowing, and now this. So we have come this far, just one game away from the final itself. That's right, they only began yesterday. Yeah, it's a, a tournament that has skipped along at a great pace, Peter, thanks to the, the drama and the excitement we've encountered. But I'd like to think that the best is yet to come, and we have four very worthy contenders aiming to lift this trophy too. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Real Jesus. It's a loose ball. It's got and the shot! <laughs> Superb goal! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. France have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? And he's cut it out. Half time in the semi final. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that. There's the start of the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. Going through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, shooting chance! Yes! Brazil are back in business. The movement so precise. The finish sumptuous. Just when they thought they may be in at one end, they end up shipping a goal at the other. And it's all due to wonderful counter-attacking. They hardly had time to even react. There's only one word to describe that. Clinical. Brazil grab the equaliser and we're all square. That's not going to make it. Mbappe. Mbappe! Goal! France! And they've got their lead back. Yeah, looking back.
back with that. That's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Take the lead. They should be okay here. Griezmann. That's a decent ball. Tova. Mbappe goes for goal. No mistake. So there's the hat trick. Feel the ecstasy. A oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution for one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. France could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the... Goes for goal! It's in! Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? Marquinhos at his razor-sharp best there. Well, for me, that's just pure credit and brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. Fantastic. Brazil, if them Brazil are out. That match is worse than losing in the semi-final. The big day stolen away and replaced by thoughts of what might have been. It has been a fine run, but it ends in tears. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Listen, I can tell you that losing the final is not as bad as the semi-final because at least you get the sample a huge occasion. Having lost the semi-final or two, I can also tell you it's a horrible experience and I really feel for these lads.